Okie dokie. In this problem, they say which is the correct graph for the function f of x equals 4 to the x plus 3. Okay, so we're dealing with exponential functions. The first thing I would do to go about this problem is try to figure out where the y-intercept is for this function. So the y-intercept occurs wherever x is equal to 0 because when x is equal to 0, you're not going right, you're not going left, you're staying right along the y-axis. So you'll find your y-intercept by plugging in x equals 0 to the function. So let's talk about what happens when you plug in 0. So f of 0 is equal to 4 to the 0 plus 3. Anything to the 0 power is equal to 1. That's a big rule in these types of problems. So 4 to the 0 is 1 plus 3, and we get 4. So this must be our y-intercept of whatever our correct function is. So um, if we look at A, possibly looking pretty good. Look at C, that's looking pretty good. Um, what about B? Uh, the y-intercept looks like it's about 6, so I'm not trusting that. Um, D is below 5, but it, it looks a little bit lower than 4, so I'm going to cross that one off too. So we're left with A or C. So... Then the question is, how do we tell if it's decreasing, like option A, or it's increasing, like option C? Well, what we could do is, I mean, we don't see any negatives in our function, so maybe that's a good indicator that it's C. But just to verify, we can always plug in an X value. I think plugging in X equals 1 should always work pretty easily. So if we plug in X equals 1 for the first graph here, let me use a different color. Hopefully not confusing anyone. Um, so where x equals 1 on graph A, the function lies about there. So it's probably under 4. So let's say the y value is about 3, where x equals 1 on graph A. But for graph C, where x equals 1, the function must be at about x equals, or sorry, y equals 6, or maybe even y equals 7. So We'll say y equals 6 for that value. So what we're going to confirm is if we plug in x equals 1 into the function, we'll say f of 1 is 4 to the 1, or 4 to the x, 4 to the 1, uh, plus 3. 4 to the 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7. So it does look like a is not the correct answer because 3 is nowhere near 7. But C is looking good because it turns out that it's not 6, but Y equals 7. Bring out our eraser to confirm that C is the correct answer.